James the Wine Guy, this video is all about slow gin, so stay tuned. So in this video, it's uh, talking about slow gin in general. Now I have reviewed Spirit Wars Distillery slow gin. I'll post that right here. Uh, but for me, I think it's a fantastic art form and something that um, when you think of the birthplace would be England, a uh, very gin-centric uh, culture. Uh, but it goes back for uh, you know a period of time, not just uh, you know 10, 20 years ago. Though the tradition, say in the United States, might be uh, you know that age uh, period, or at least a tradition in the United States. So basically, uh, it is blackthorn. And uh, so if you think of blackthorn, who really wants a uh, you know glass of blackthorn? Uh, gin. It doesn't sound very attractive. So slow is uh, another term. So slow berries. Now it's a relative of the plum. It's a picture of the blackthorn or slow berries. And uh, so it looks very much like a blueberry, but uh, it is certainly not a blueberry. And you generally pick this in October, November uh, after the first frost. And so what you do is you put a, uh, you get a white neck jar. You fill that up with say uh, 110 grams or four ounces of sugar. You additionally put about one pint of uh, slows and then you also uh, put gin, you add gin to that. So when you look at the alcohol content, so this is an ABV of 27%. So when you think of gins, generally in the 40 range, uh, but when you actually uh, put the juice from the slow, uh, slow berry uh, concoction, it actually dilutes that just a bit in terms of the ABV content, not in terms of the flavor characteristic. It is something of a very northerly uh, tradition. And so what you would also do in that period of time is you turn uh, the jars on a daily basis for about three months and then you can serve that. So I understand people have used this in say creating ciders or in, in jams, uh, but the flavor characteristic is very different. It's not going to be just a particular flavor such as a blueberry-esque or plum flavored. It's much more interesting than that because you think of the gin, we are adding some of the botanicals in the gin to the actual uh, blackthorn or sloes and becomes a very different characteristic altogether. It's very warm uh, in terms of the, the tonality to this. Beautiful fruit flavored characteristics of cherry, even plum to a certain degree. Warm strawberries is another term I would utilize. And uh, tay berries as well. Lots of, lots of spice notes to this of cinnamon, cardamom, uh, additional notes of allspice and pepper. Really beautiful uh, characterization. So you can serve this with a gin and tonic or in a variety of mixed drinks, but it's really a beautiful uh, beverage art form. So stay tuned for more. Let's connect on many social medias. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And also do me another favor, give a like to this video, share this video, and list your questions or comments down below. List your favorite uh, slow gym producer down below as well. And let's continue the conversation on the social medias that I belong to, that you might belong to as well. Thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.